and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking five spice calamari or squid. So let's start cooking. Now we'll start to season our squid. I have with me over here 140 grams of squid. Cut into rings like this, right about our finger thickness. Add in one teaspoon of ginger juice made from grated ginger and squeeze them out. Just pour it in. Half a teaspoon of salt, put it in. This is just to give this a basic taste. And add in a few dashes of pepper. You can use black pepper or white pepper, it's really up to you. Mix them up well. And once you have mixed them up well, we will prepare to coat them. The important thing to note is when you clean the squid, please take out the membrane so that it will be all white like this. Okay, once this is done, now we will prepare to coat our squid. To coat the squid, we will need to prepare some plain flour, one beaten egg, as well as some panko powder or breadcrumbs. First, we will take the calamari or squid, put it in the plain flour, right? Coat it up first. This step is important because this will help the panko powder to stick onto the squid much better. Next, we drop it in the egg wash using another hand. Just make sure that egg wash coat the squid nicely like this. And then we drop this in the breadcrumb. Like this. Using your dry hand, just generously coat this up. Pat it down a little bit. And this is done. Just set it aside and continue to do the rest. Now that we've finished coating the squid, we need to spray some oil on top of it. If you do not have an oil spray, you can always use a brush to dab some oil over it. This is to ensure that they will brown evenly as well as crispy. So just spray them with the oil. I'm using olive oil over here, but you can always use any oil that you can get. Okay. Once you're done with this, we'll put them in the air fryer and we will cook them. Now we just place the squid into our air fryer. Now leave a little gap between them. If you can't fit everything in, please cook them in two batches. So this is good. We'll now place it inside our air fryer. At 180 degrees Celsius, we'll air fry this for five minutes on one side and then we'll flip it to the other side for another five minutes. I'll see you back in a while. And now five minutes is up, we remove this and flip it to the other side as well as spray some oil. Look at the colour, it's turning golden brown nicely. Now we just flip it to the other side and spray some oil. You can start to hear how crispy these are. Be careful when you do this. Do this lightly. This is going to be so delicious. Now we'll spray oil onto the squid. Remember to only spray oil when this is completely out of your air fryer because we don't want to create a fire. Safety first is very important. Now we put it in. Maintain the heat at 180 degrees Celsius and we'll just air fry this for the last five minutes. I'll show you how it looks like in a while. Five minutes is up. Let's have a look. Look at how beautiful these are. The light golden brown, this is what we want. We now remove this and continue with the second batch before I show you how to make the five spice seasoning. Once the squid is done, we prepare our seasoning. I have with me over here, one teaspoon of five spice powder, one teaspoon of salt, and a little bit of white pepper. If you like this dish to be a little bit spicy, feel free to add some chili powder. Mix them up well. And we'll sprinkle this evenly on the squid. Move it around a little bit. And do the same. This is a very easy dish to make for your parties. And it's extremely delicious. 
Of course, if you are making a bigger batch and you want to save some time, instead of air frying, you can actually deep fry them too. No problem at all. But we are showing you the healthier way to do this and of course, the fast free way. All right. Once this is done, move them around a little bit more. You can either serve them like that or sprinkle some spring onions to have some green. Now we just plate them and it's time to try this. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. I love the smell of five spice. Really, really nice. Let's just juice it. One, over here. Hmm. Crispy, flavorful. The seasoning is just on the dot. Really, really nice. This is excellent as a side dish with your favorite drink or even with your steamed rice or noodles. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and now it's your turn to cook. Bye bye, see you soon.